the channel. I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and we play with pens and inks and paper, and today we're sort of doing all three, mostly pen, and then also some ink, and obviously we'll have paper. So the pen that we are playing with today is actually... Oh, oops, is this not my cup of tea? <laughs> okay, I thought that was gonna be really clever, but it wasn't. Um, so that's kind of embarrassing. The pens we'll be playing with are the Diplomat Magnums. So I've got a selection of colors here to share with you, which is quite exciting because if you know me, you know I like wild and wacky colors. And these were sent to me by Diplomat. And so it's a collaboration with Diplomat and the Canadian distributor of Diplomat. So a huge thank you to them because I use a Diplomat Magnum like six years ago and it was like an indigo blue one but it had it was the soft touch version so it was kind of rubbery and it wrote really like it was it wrote well but i wasn't enthused by the color so i just kind of wrote it off so i'm really excited about these because i think the color is is kind of where it is you know so there's the color that got my eyeballs like all excited and then sorry about this part here um and then the writing experience has been really positive so let's talk about these and i'll show you them in some detail uh, first up the packaging is super simple and i appreciate it this is a um, it's like 2350 us like roughly 25 canadian and i think it's a great deal so it comes in a box like this and so it's a lot like the Lamy Safari where it's just very basic packaging and I think it works I think it's perfectly fine and it keeps the price of the pen reasonable so they're made in Germany the fountain pen uses standard international cartridges has a solid metal clip and it has a visible ink level which is indeed very cute so that's the packaging I approve keeps the price reasonable and honestly for a like $25 pen I, I don't want more than this so I'm gonna just toss that over there for now and we're gonna take a look at the pens the pens okay so I've got a selection of colors here first up let's talk about the colors this is not all of them they also have like a demo orange and blue and um, purple so this is just some of the colors so we've got Aegean blue, pearl white, lime green, um, hot pink. This one is royal blue, and this one is called John Doe. And in the States, I believe it's called prismatic purple. So you'll have to figure out what yours is called. So let's just grab this one. So at the top, you've got your Diplomat Finial. It says made in Germany. And... It's got the little flower. I think it's very cute. The clip is indeed metal. It says Diplomat on it. I, I really like the shape of the clip because it's very easy to use. Nice and springy. I mean, other than that, there's not a whole lot to the pens, which is fine. So the barrel has these facets on it, which you can see. And it's got a black section, also plastic, with matching facets. So it's similar to the Lamy Safari's ergonomic grip section, but for those who hate the Safari, um, I've got a Safari here. For, sorry, it's got no nib on it, but that's okay. For those who don't like the intensity of the Safari, like the grip is really out there, like it's a really grippy grip in terms of its shape, um, I think the Magnum is a better option because it's, it's, it's not as intense very comfortable it is slim but the pen is light and slim overall so there's no big jump there's no big difference it really is comfy and the cap posts by friction so great for those who like to post and because the cap doesn't weigh a whole lot the um like the balance and the weight doesn't really change so my first impressions when i first got these and i was playing with them super positive they're just very like it's basic but in a good way and i'm gonna unscrew the barrel so it comes 
uh, sorry, it takes standard international cartridge converter. Now, my only kind of complaint was that they don't come with a converter automatically. And um, that's similar to a lot of other entry-level pens like the Kakuno and the Metropolitan and the Lamy Safari. They don't come with converters either. But the good thing about this is that because it's standard international, chances are if you're buying this for someone who already has a, a fountain pen or if you are getting it for yourself, you probably have a standard international cartridge or converter at home. So it does come with a cartridge. That's great. But um, I think having the option to buy like a full package where it comes with the converter and a bottle of ink would be really cool. But so anyway, just so you know, they do have ink. Um, it's not really a complaint because it's not a huge deal and you can pick up standard international converters like anywhere, right? So you can buy them online. You don't have to go to a stationary shop. You can just buy them on like Amazon if you wanted. But I think you should buy them from a stationary shop and support them instead. And so that's like the only downside. It's not really a huge deal. But anyway, let's get to writing because I'm pretty excited about these. They have steel nibs. They are transitioning from matte to steel nibs. So I have half matte and half steel. Um, here's, here's a matte one. So it kind of looks like a titanium nib, like that brushed look. Doesn't really affect the writing performance. I, I found that they all wrote quite similarly, quite comparably, and without issue. So let's do some writing. Okay. I'm going to pull this up because I did know that they are sensitive to um, oils on the page, like most nibs. But yeah, anyway. Okay. So here's what I did with these. I got them and I just inked them and I didn't even flush them or anything because I was like, okay, if I was giving this as a gift or if I was a newbie and I didn't know anything about fountain pens, what would I do with it? Well, I'd immediately just start writing with it. And it's been really interesting because they've worked quite well. And it's funny because I've certainly had like thousand dollar pens where you have to like get the nib fixed and flush them and make sure everything works right and write with the proper paper and make sure your room is the proper temperature so that they'll work and you know there is an argument for why buy expensive pens when you know a $25 pen works just as well so in fairness I have the range so it's okay like I don't feel so bad insulting expensive pens because I have some and I experience this so this ink is actually the Diplomat um, purple. Very nice ink. Okay, so the, the nib. Let me show you. It's a pretty decent fine. Like this one is a fine. They have extra fine, fine, medium, broad. So a pretty nice selection. Um, missing a stub for those who like stubs. But I think for like the beginner market, maybe a stub is not ideal. You can apply pressure because it is slightly springy, but I mean, it's not a flex nib, obviously, but you'll get a bit of a wetter, broader line. So, you know, some line variation can be fun. And then let's just do some writing. Some hideous, humongous writing. I have thrown these in a cup, I've thrown them in a bag, I've thrown them, um, like, I've rubbed them up with each other like this, like, I've been pretty rough with them, and the finishes have held up remarkably well. Like, it's amazing. I would never do that with some of my expensive pens, or with most pens, really. But these are just, like, the finish is fantastic. That's just a side note. I don't know why I thought of that while I was writing this.
So I have to say, I think these are definitely a contender for um, like the entry level, penabling, giftable type of pen. Uh, I also think it's a superb pen for like keeping on your desk at work, um, like throwing in your bag. It's very underrated and I'm really excited that I get to try them. Okay, so what I have here, that was a fine. This is the medium, but this is the medium polished. And what I find with the polished is the, I'm oh, sorry, the medium um, unpolished, so the matte version, I find they're a little stiffer. So it's like a really small difference. So this ink is Diplomat Caribbean, which obviously I would put in the Aegean Blue because that's the right match. Um, I think the nib sizes are very true to, to size. So I just want to show you what my favorite thing is. Apart from the prettiness of the pens, and um, there is the ink window, like that's really fun. I think one of the best things about these pens for me is the versatility of the nibs. And I'll show you what I mean. And uh, it's, there are certain pens and like nib shapes and weight and balance and the way I grip pens that I can only write in one way with it but I really like these because they're versatile in how I can manipulate them. So let me just see if I can show you an example of what I'm trying to explain. So I can do like different script types. So here's one, I'm not gonna do the whole alphabet. So that's one, um, you can do, oh, sorry, that was my fault. something like that. Um, it can also do like a cute little chubby round script. Don't talk about my script like that. So this sounds really weird, but I can't do something like this with all pens. And I think it's a combination of the round point shape as well as the, the springiness of the nib and just like how the pen fits in my hand. So I'm really pleased with that. Like I, I really like having the versatility in the nib. I think it just makes the pen more useful for me. So I've been doing a lot of like hand lettering practice. Um, like addressing letters and notes to friends, like with a fun, uh, like decorating the, um, the, the edges and stuff like that, just because this is something I can do with these pens and I can have a whole bunch of them inked and it's okay. So anyway, I'm really excited about them and I think they're really great. And let me just show you quickly. I have, I just wanna show you a comparison of sizes just to give you a rough idea. So I'm going to slide because I know you're not going to be able to see all of it. So I'll just slide. We've got the Diplomat Magnum, Pi uh, Platinum Curidas, the Estabrook SD Regular, the Estabrook SD Slim, the Pilot Metropolitan, a Jinhao X750, a Platinum Preppy, Twisby Eco, Twisby 580, Coveco Sport, and a Lamy Safari. So if I were to really like put them up against each other about like what would be comparable with each other. I would say these ones. So like you're looking at a price range of like, like $6 for the preppy to I think like 35 for the eco, um, and you know, give or take a little bit. So I think for 25, the Magnum is a fantastic option. So I, oh, sorry. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it.
So let's do some side writing and then we'll come back. Okay, uh, that's my favorite part of the video. I love doing that, like the side writing. It's so much fun. So I hope this was useful. I, I hope you'll give the Magnum a shot. I, I think it's a, a really, I think they're really nice pens and the colors are killer. So, I mean, it's hard to argue with the colors, right? But they work really well. They perform really well. And I haven't been disappointed at all in their performance. And overall, like, there's really very little to complain about. So there we go. A huge thank you again to Diplomat for sending these over for me. I'm very pleased and excited to share this with you. Thank you all so much for watching. It is a beautiful day out here. So I'm going to go enjoy my day. Thank you. I am... Aziza at Gourmet Pens and Gourmet Pens shop if you would like to check me out. I'm on the socials and I'm on Patreon if you want to lend your support. Yay! Thank you again everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye!